Kansas City's Neighborhood and Housing Committee could put new rules in place to crack down on loud noises at bars, restaurants, and even house parties. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach has the scoop on how this new ordinance could impact you. Sarah. Hey, Cynthia, this ordinance dates all the way back to the 1960s, and a lot of the wording in it means that the city can't even enforce the current noise violation. So this will allow them to write more tickets, especially in the springtime when people are out and about and outside. Take a look. These are the new noise readers that they just received at the health department. One big change you're going to notice with these new equipment is that they're actually able to measure the sound of those low bass noise. And those are the ones that really can shake people's homes and businesses, the ones that most people complain about. Another thing we're going to see, those fines are going to increase. Right now, businesses and neighbors can face about a $500 fine. This will go up to $1,000. Now, typically, they get about 60 noise complaints a year, and this could make that number jump even higher. I think this will make it cleaner and easier. Uh, to pick up those ones where the neighbors would continue to say, "Yeah, but we couldn't get a, we couldn't find a violation." But the neighbors are saying, "But we still hear the noise, and it's annoying, and it's waking up our kids." And um, you know, can you do something? And Cynthia, this is the perfect time for this to go in place. As you know, there are a lot of new apartment buildings coming to downtown Kansas City, so it's becoming more of a mixed use area. Now, coming up in 30 minutes, if you don't live by a bar or restaurant, you'll want to know how this ordinance could impact you. And I'll explain how it's something that wakes a lot of us up in the morning and that could soon change with this ordinance as well. That's in 30 minutes. Reporting live, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News. All right.